Hi everybody, it's Amalia and I'm here today with a deep dive into my alcohol inks. Here are some previous projects that you may have seen in a previous video, uh, but today I'm diving a little bit deeper in and playing some more. I'm using Yupo paper this time, and this is 5 by 7 I'm also putting on some disposable gloves because it gets all over your hands and it won't come out until you wash your hair. Uh, I'm also using some uh, rainbow inks. These are from Ranger and I have some regular rainbow inks and some um, these are like the metallics. I have lots of metallics in this particular brand and uh, of course we're going to need some of our alcohol solution. First I'm going to start with a bunch of alcohol solution on my Yupo paper and uh, I'm going to use these posh rainbow inks. These are alcohol dye based inks so um, that's what I'm starting with and I haven't used these in a really long time so let's see what what they look like. Now one thing I noticed actually about these is that uh, there was they were very pigmented right like the um, Tim Holtz al uh, alcohol inks ones were very pigmented but um, I want to say that there was a lot more granulation to the pigment to the pigmentation so uh, whereas the Tim Holtz ones were very clear and translucent um, these were translucent as well, but you could see, you could see literal grains of pigment, uh, which was great for texture and, uh, just a little bit more interesting, let's say. And with this particular project, I'm just at the point of playing and seeing what the inks do. Uh, I was a little bit lazy. I could have gone and gotten out my marker spritzer to use as a blower. I even have some cans of um, canned air, you know, what you use to clean off your computer keyboard. Um, but I was too lazy. <laughs> I was too lazy to go to my cupboard and grab the canned air. And I was too lazy to go to some of my storage for my craft supplies to get the little spritzer thing. So um, I just moved the paper around and here I'm trying to add some of the metallic color. This is a gold metallic and um, it's been sitting around for a long time so I really needed to shake it up for a while to get that all mixed in. And one thing I noticed is that as soon as I put it on the paper, uh, it almost started to separate uh, from silver and gold. Uh, anyway, in the end, it turned out just fine. I just spritzed some alcohol, some like 99% or 91% isopropyl alcohol on it. And that just, uh, it helps the colors separate and it does fun stuff. And now I'm using a straw to move the colors around. And I don't recommend this. Um, I just don't recommend it. It's not a good idea. Here's what it kind of looks like before it's dried. Then I decided to get uh, my heat gun and help it dry a little bit more because there was a lot of color and a lot of liquid on this. So I wanted to dry a little bit faster. And be careful with your heat gun, especially on this Yupo paper. Yupo paper is a type of plasticized paper or plastic paper, and uh, it will warp and, and burn. I didn't hold it to the paper for too long, so I didn't have that problem in this instance. And uh, so, yeah, so I decided to let that dry naturally and let's move on to some other colors. Here I'm using a lot of metallic colors. And uh, there's nothing, there's no alcohol blending solution on the paper yet. So you see nothing's happening. The colors going on the paper but it's not moving around. So I'm adding, I'm shooting <laughs> alcohol blending solution on the page. And now is when the uh, metallic colors start to mix. And of course, um, I used lots of different colors. So you're gonna get some, some browns because of uh, the mixing of, uh, of some of the colors. And, but that's okay because I went in with more alcohol solution. I went in with some actual alcohol and I'm using my hand uh, to cover the spray nozzle and just let the alcohol drip 
onto the paper because it's a it's like a full spray bottle not like a spritzing bottle that's actually the bottle that I use around the house for COVID cleaning <laughs> I go in with some more regular alcohol color some more alcohol blending solution and just try and get things moving and separating a little bit so these are metallic inks uh, they have uh, lots of metallic kind of mica in them so they behave a little bit differently than the regular alcohol inks and um, I set that aside to continue drying and then I had a lot of extra ink on my fingers and for some stupid reason I decided to wipe it off on the actual paper but it doesn't matter because when it comes out in the end you don't even see those splotches anymore and I'm using a cranberry red here again still with the posh rainbow inks and uh, again these are ranger inks and I have seen them within the last 18 months in a Michaels so you can look in Michaels for some of those it's a gorgeous color I love that red I went into it with some alcohol and it starts to separate and move and I'm just very excited about the brilliance of the color and now I am adding some gold gold metallic alcohol ink I'm layering and layering I'm adding now the alcohol blending solution to get things to move a little I end up uh, just moving it around getting that ink to move around and essentially I'm just trying to cover as much of the space as much of the card as possible I don't want any white space and it's causing all of the colors to mix and blend and do fun things I'll go in with some more red at some point and here's what it looks like just before I set it aside to dry and uh, again it's not completely dry yet uh, but uh, I'm going to set it aside to completely dry and start on something new. Well, uh, I went in with my alcohol inks. I went in with some blues and purples and yellows. And uh, I already covered this particular uh, piece of Yupo with uh, some of the color. And now I decided I wanted to use some pearls. And these are pearl mixatives and um, they've been around for quite some time and I had to shake these bottles for a really long time to get the pearls and the micas in there to to mix well uh, well the pearls didn't do much on their own so I added some of alcohol uh, mixative to get it to kind of move around a little bit and I loved the bright uh, translucent colors by themselves the pearl wasn't doing very much for me so I actually went back in with some of the blue I think this one's called denim and I went right on top of the pearl and added some some of the blue alcohol and uh, I like it a little bit better I like the strongness of the actual color a little bit better here's that red again it's a little bit more dry it is gorgeous the video doesn't even do it justice so I decided to go in with some more uh, I had some copper mixative and look at that it was not well mixed it has a bubble you know um, a ball bearing in it and uh, it just wasn't well mixed a big blob of the mica came out and not much else so I'm sure there's some sort of resin mixative that was in it but it, it was like there was no none of that left it was just like a big blob of the mica so I tried to take off as much as I could and uh, we'll call that a fail but we're still going with it because uh, nothing's a real fail <laughs> here I am with a little bit more alcohol just to see what that does see if I could get things moving look at that look at that that was horrible but it looks great at the same time <laughs> I want to see if I can fix it somehow and add some more blue on top of it but 
really it can't be fixed it is what it is here's what the final pieces look like i hope you enjoyed this deep dive into my alcohol inks uh, stay tuned for my next video in this deep dive series because i'm going to show you what i did with these alcohol inked panels please give me a like and subscribe and bye